Power Stroke Central people, welcome back to another uh, PC video. Today, we are actually doing something for you guys on the channel. I've never filmed in the new crib yet on this channel. For you guys today, we're actually going to be going down to the 7 Tree. We're going to be doing some air filter changing. I did all the air filter changing last night, but I want to show you guys what I did and just kind of run through everything that I've done to my 7 Tree. And I know you guys have been waiting for the straight pipe or whatever. Uh, you guys saw the pipe I ordered. Completely wrong pipe. It was too short. It, I don't even know. I, it wasn't. They sent me the wrong stuff, whatever it was. I'm going to ship that back. I actually got my dad now. He's an auto mechanic and he's actually going to be ordering some of the pipes for me. So hopefully he can order the right stuff and we can actually get an S pipe going up into the uh, muffler and we can get the straight pipe going for you guys. We're actually going to hop right into it here. I'm actually going to be filling up the truck as well. I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can save money on diesel. And three, we're going to drive to the gas station, fill it up, show you guys how much money I can save and then also do the complete air filter change. I'm going to go over all the regular maintenance stuff I did yesterday. I changed the ATF, I changed the oil and then I also put the ATF in the gas tank because the diesels can run off of the ATF fluid so you know I just try to save a little money and we got a gallon or two of ATF in there and it also will help the truck run better the older trucks not newer trucks guys if you have a newer truck I wouldn't put it in there do your research before you put ATF fluid in your in your diesel truck I'll see you guys at the gas station We are at below a quarter of a tank. Not very the best for these diesels. Um, especially 7.3 guys, uh, you really don't want to run them below a quarter of a tank because it does hurt the injectors and it hurts the engine overall. Uh, and if you do run out of diesel, that's the worst because it's gonna fuck your truck up. Head on over to this gas station here. I get 11 cents a gallon off on this app called Get Upside. They basically pay me back money. So they every time I fill up diesel, I usually, wait till I'm at a hundred dollars in the account and then I usually just transfer the money over to my personal account and so it's a pretty good app cool app uh, if you want to use if you want to download it I'll leave it down in the description down below where you can download it and uh, save some money on diesel yourself but right now we're headed to the gas station here and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how much it is I believe this gas station really only lets me put seventy four dollars worth of fuel in it but last night I put five gallons in at my house and a gallon and a half of ATF fluid. So I don't know how much more, how many more gallons I'm gonna need. I'm assuming in the 20s or 30s gallons in this truck because it is at a quarter of a tank, like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and rip it out. And see you guys at the gas station. All right, ladies and gents, we just filled up. $74 was the total. It was like 23 gallons, so I believe we're gonna save around, you know, two or three dollars with my 11 cents a gallon back. I'll pop up the math right there somewhere. I, didn't, I haven't gotten a calculator out. But now we're headed back to my apartment, so we're actually gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the air filter. What happened was my actually my air filter bent and it wasn't even filtering for like thousands of miles. And I just checked it the other day to like see if it was like filtering. It turns out that the air filter wasn't even in there, right? So pretty much I'm gonna pop the hood, pull the air filter out. We just put a new one in, so the new air filter's in right now. But I'm gonna pull it out and just kind of put it back in and show you guys how to put it back in. But yeah, stay tuned, we'll head back to the apartment right now. All right guys, we are back at the apartment here. We're actually gonna go ahead and pop the hood. Here's the air filter right here. I'm just gonna kind of open it up and pull it out. So here we got our air filter. I'm actually just, I'll just undo the clips here. Um, make sure you put these back. I made that mistake guys. I undid the clips, didn't put them back and the air filter actually bent. Okay, so it's really dirty right now in here, but uh, we got our air filter right here. Don't wanna get it too dirty, but. Yeah, so we got our air filter right here. This is basically how it slides in. Uh, this is a new one. Uh, the old one is back at my house. It was all bent up and stuff, but this is kind of where it goes on the 7.3. We're just gonna kind of put it back in here. I'm just gonna set it. It just kind of sets in there. It's a, this is a uh, Faram 940 air filter. I'll leave the link to purchase one of these down in the description if you guys are looking to buy an air filter. Faram 9400. Uh, if you just go to your local AutoZone or Walmart, they should have them in stock. Um, but yeah, guys, so you put the air filter in and then you take your your uh, top here. You gotta push it back. You gotta push it back and it's gotta slide into these grooves right here. Um, let me see if we can get this slid in here. This sits in there. You wanna make sure that you clip these here. There, and then make sure that they clip down like that. 
and then this is kind of your air gauge here to make sure that everything's filtering and if it's this is plugged up guys it means your air filter's plugged up plugged it up, up almost 24 7 with my old air filter so that's why i had to get a new one but that being said though guys thank you guys for watching yes yeah, this is just kind of a quick how-to video on how to change my air filter but that being said though guys thank you guys for watching this partial essential episode we'll go ahead and catch y'all guys on another one make sure to subscribe down below and go ahead and give this video a th big fat thumbs up um, and watch the next video it'll be up here or down there i'm hoping the next video guys is a straight pipe if i can order all the parts i'm not gonna promise you guys anything peace out guys thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe down below as always uh, have a nice rest of y'all's day peace